And you'll see that Celtic just ducked a little bit to the right there as they jumped off, but he's fine. Combermere has the leader from Calapayez. Celtic taking quite a strong hold. Going up just in behind the lead now as Combermere is going to jump it from Jazzatas, then uh, Celtic Chief and Calapayez, who's fourth. Behind them come Cashew King and Jimbalu, and that's Jazzatas from Combermere as they come to the second flight. Jazzatas lands in the lead from Combermere and Celtic Chief, and then Jimbalu has now gone fourth ahead of Cashew King, Carla Pez, and Wahiba, the back marker, as they pass the winning post on the first circuit. It's Combermere and Jazzatas disputing it now and going a good clip ahead of Celtic Chief in third, who's tracked by Carla Pez, then Cashew King and Jimbalu, and Wahiba, the back marker of the seven runners, in the absence of abbreviation. So they swing right handed in this. HSS Harshops hurdle with 5,300 to the winner. And as they run downhill, it's Jazza Tass, a dual winner at Windsor. By about three from Combermere, who's three to four up on Celtic Chief, who's being followed by Cashew King and Carla Pez, Jimbalu and Wahiba. Over the third, Jazza Tass lands clear of Combermere and Celtic Chief. Good jump by the favorite in third place there. Then comes uh, Cashew King and Carla Pez and Wahiba Jimbalu has dropped back last. Jazza Tass maintains his lead from Combermere. Celtic Chief on the inside. On the outside, Cashew King. Carla Pez comes next, then Wahiba and then Jimbalu as they come to flight number four. Jazzatas lands in the lead there from Cashew King and Combermere and Celtic Chief, then Carla Pez behind Carla Pez Wahiba and then Jim Ballou. They begin to swing right handed, got just over a mile to run now. And Jazzatas in the lead from Combermere and Celtic Chief on the inside. Then Cashew King and getting closer, Carla Pez, and behind them Wahiba and last Jim Ballou. And Jazzatas still making it at a good strong gallop from Combermere with Celtic Chief going up on the inside of Combermere. Cashew King close next, and they're followed by Carla Pez, Wahiba, and a gap, long gap then, to Jim Ballou. Coming to the fifth. Closely grouped up front. Jazza Celtic Chief, Combermere, Cashew King, and Carla Pez poised just in behind them. Three left to jump now. And very closely grouped, Celtic Chief just with a marginal advantage now from Cashew King as they jump or come to this one and jump it together. And Cashew King a faller there. Cashew King a faller and he's brought down Combermere and he's left Celtic Chief in the lead now from in second place, Carla Pez. In third, Jazzatas looking back. I see both horses up all right and both riders on their feet as well as they race into the home turn now. Celtic Chief, the favorite, being pressed now by Carla Pez. Richard Dunwoody from Peter Scudamore as they come down to the second last flight. Celtic Chief from from the grey, Carla Pez still running strongly. Jazzatas back in third. This is the second last flight now. Celtic Chief from Carla Pez. Celtic Chief over by a length from Carla Pez. Carla Pez still challenging strongly though towards the stand side. Under pressure though now as Celtic Chief lengthens coming to the final flight. Celtic Chief by a length now from Carla Pez. Celtic Chief jumps it well. Carla Pez makes a mistake, goes right through it. It's Celtic Chief from Carla Pez. They race up towards the line. Celtic Chief is holding Carla Pez and he's going to win it. As they come to the line, Celtic Chief wins the HSS. Harshops hurdle, second is Carla Pears, and third will be Jazza Tass ahead of Jim Ballou, four. And they're the only finishers, the two fallers uh, out in the country. Returning riderless, OK, Wahiba has been pulled up, and the result of the HSS Harshops hurdle is first, number three, Celtic Chief, owned by Mrs. L.M. Sewell, trained by Mrs. Mercy Rymel, written by Richard Dunwoody, his 41st of the season. Second was number four, Carla Pears, owned by Mr. T.J. Blake, trained by Miss Brooke Sanders, and written by Peter Scudamore. And third was number eight, Jazzatas, owned by Mr. G.S.B. Cook, trained by Neville Callahan, and written by Huel Davis. Fourth was number five, Jim Ballou, the only other finisher, immediate champion hurdle odds, eight to one. Uh, Celtic Chief from Ladbrook, six to one from Mecca. Corals go seven to one, and William Hill goes seven to one. Here he is.